What's up y'all? It's Coach Jelena. And as you can see from the title of this video, we are going to talk about brand ambassadors and signing NDAs and all that good stuff, okay? But before we get started, I want to shout out to all the people who have definitely been shopping with me. I'm going to show y'all. Let's see. I've been receiving so many orders and it's delicious keeps going so shout out to all of you guys I really do appreciate you guys and I am here to help build your business brand all that good stuff so if you haven't make sure you head over to amanijelina.co and browse the site see what is on the site or uh, materials that I offer whether it's an ebook a webinar replay um, workbook that can help you with the success or the launch process or the rebranding process of your business okay so thank you all for definitely supporting me and my business and you guys know all the content that i deliver deliver is uh to better you all's business as well and really quickly the last thing that i want to say i do have a sale going on this is the cheapest any web design has been that i'm offering so if you need a website right now and probably for only the next 24 to 48 hours i will be having 40 dollar web web design so if you need a website you better get on it okay especially if you want to save a coin and they have a beautiful elegant website and then you work together and all that good stuff so i'll leave all the links below in case you guys just want to like read more up on the information and all that good stuff but we're just going to jump into this video okay so when it comes to brand ambassadors for those of you who do not know what brand ambassadors are a brand ambassador is basically an influencer or someone that you hire onto your team to go ahead and promote your business and with the contracts and brand ambassador contracts you kind of as, as the owner set it up how you want them to in a sense promote your business and some of those things could be maybe you want them to post three times a week or or you want them every picture that they post on their social media sites and they're rocking your product you just want them to tag your product so i mean it definitely does depend um how exactly you as the business owner wants to you know them to deliver it to their audience but not only that it's what you and them agree upon too because at the end of the day being a brand ambassador is a job due to the fact that you are getting a payment for it usually from that being said do i feel as though you should make a brand ambassador sign an nda a non-disclosure agreement and, and i want you guys to know that this is all my opinion but i do think you should make your brand ambassador sign some form of an agreement but it doesn't essentially have to be a non-disclosure agreement and the reason i say that is because when you're hiring someone on to do the job you want them to tell the truth so if you know as the owner you're supplying a super awesome product and you know that they're going to have a pretty good experience with it it's not essential for them to have an NDA because an NDA really goes into depth about like if something's going on behind the scene they can't speak upon this they can't talk about how much they got paid for it uh for the project they can't talk about anything that is in the actual agreement and as a business owner you definitely have the option to have an NDA but I personally think the most important thing is to have an agreement so you all know what's going on you know um, you can specify when you want certain things to be uploaded. You can specify how much the uh, payments are going to be. That's very important. Make sure, sure you put how much your brand ambassador is, um, how much income that they're going to receive from this. Is this short term or long term? Another really good thing that you can put on there is how exactly they will get paid. So in my opinion, I would never give a brand ambassador 100% payment up front. But what I will do is give them a 50% payment when they do receive the item and then a 50% payment once the project is fulfilled or midway through. And I want you guys to put all of this in writing in case you got to sue somebody, you know, or in case someone doesn't um, complete the job, you'll have, you know, you'll have backup on paper to show what you expected and what you both agreed on so no an nda is not 
necessary but you know your business is your business you can do what you want to do but a, some form of an agreement is necessary in getting it notarized as well that is my opinion um if you guys don't know where to start when it does come to getting uh, an agreement going or a contract written up for specifically brand ambassadors i do have a link in the description box of a template that i do offer and all you have to do is is print out the template or you can do it digitally but it does help um with you know you put your price down you put the dates down you put both names so you both have a, a complete understanding about everything so if you guys are interested in that template that brand ambassador template that is already drawn out for you uh it is in the description box but literally my camera is dying right now so i gotta go but i will be back tomorrow uh following up on this particular topic and a few more things but i hope all of you guys are having an amazing day and i will talk to you all tomorrow